Okay, today what I'm going to do is create a, take the camera that's usually uh, angled at this gentleman's buttocks when you first start and have it attach to a socket that is attached to the head. And, I, and then I'm going to enable it to zoom in and out. So we'll be able to go, so the camera itself, if I come down here and the camera boom, what we want it to be is like, this is kind of like the default area right here. Um, and I want to move it up to about here. And then have it be able to go in and out and clamp to a specific um, maximum length and minimum length. And also have it be able to be set as a default. Um, uh, distance from the user when they start. And now in order to do that, we're going to have to do a couple different things. Um, and we're going to do this entirely in C++, right? We're going to need to add some inputs, add a socket to the character's head, and uh, then also attach the camera to the socket rather than the um, character itself, like the character asset, third party uh, blueprint. And then we're going to add to the camera here, these settings here, we're going to add another drop down like this one. But this drop down is going to be for the zooming, zoom settings. And that's going to allow us to set those defaults. And then every time you create a new blueprint, you'll be able to adjust those settings for that character. So we're going to start off by uh, attaching the blueprint, or sorry, attaching the socket to the, to the head of the, the mesh, right? So come over here and we're going to just find the character, open up this mannequin, and we'll scroll down until we hit head. So doo -doo -doo, there we go, head. And we're going to add a socket. Now head socket can be useful for a number of different things. Maybe I want to have a hat or sunglasses or something like that. And so those would be attached to the head, but we don't want them necessarily attached to the head socket. In this case, I want to attach it to the camera socket. So I'm just going to rename this socket to camera socket. Now it's very important that you remember exactly how you type this in because it is case sensitive and we're going to require it later in order to attach it to the camera itself, the camera boom, that is. All right, so now that's been saved. We can go like this. We're just going to go save all. And then here we're going to come up here and then th th we're going to set up the zoom really quickly. So we're going to go to project settings and we're going to come down until we hit input and then we're going to go into here. We're going to hit the plus button here because we need to add a new uh, access mapping and we're going to call this one uh, camera zoom. And then here this has a Keyboard select of none, which we actually want to put a keyboard select. Sorry, a mouse select, because I want I want to be able to zoom with the uh, scroll wheel in this case, right? So I'm going to put wheel access. Now with this one, anytime I go, uh, I scroll the wheel towards me, it will give me a negative number. And anytime I, by default, right? And anytime I, uh, uh, scroll the wheel away from me, it will give me a positive number. And we, we don't want that, we actually want it to reverse. So we're just going to do minus one. Sweet. So now this is all set up. Everything else we need to do can now be done in uh, C++ directly. So it's always best practice to not recompile in here. It's actually best, com best uh, to usually just relaunch your editor every time you make big changes um, in C++. Uh, you can get some blueprint weirdness if you don't. So I'm just going to go like that. And we're going to start off with the uh, CC, uh, sorry, the, the header file. So that's tpd character.h. Right. And so in the header file, we're going to add a couple quick things, right? So we're going to come up here. Um, and right here under protected, we're going to add some camera settings. So this will be the camera zoom settings, right? So we'll have, um, we're just going to give ourselves a little, um, little, <coughs> sorry.
sorry. We're going to give ourselves a little uh, camera uh, comment here to tell us exactly what we want. So let's get this started. And then we'll go like this. Oops. Uh, what is it? It's, oh, yeah. It's um, end camera zoom properties. Oops. There we go. And we're going to use U properties. Now, what these allow you to do is add to um, the settings directly when you create a blueprint. So in this case, we want to say, we want to be able to edit these anywhere, and we want them to be blueprint read and write. So we want the blueprints to be able to read and write uh, to and from these, uh, these properties. Now, category allows us to define where it's going to be, right? So in this case, I'm going to put it under camera, right? So that, that's where, where this is, right? And then here, I want to put it under zoom. And this gives us, so this is the first category. And then this is the subcategory. And this will give us those uh, drop downs. And then here it wants us to, we, we need to create the actual variable that's going to hold it. And in this case, we want it to be min zoom length. And we're going to set this to 0.f, is usually what I do. And then essentially, we just want to copy and paste these because we want uh, four of these in total. Now, we don't obviously want them to all be this. So like this one, we will we'll take a max. And I usually put it as 1,000 because that seems like a pretty good uh, default here. We'll give 600, and this will be the default um, uh, arm length. And you'll see in a couple of seconds here why I make it arm length and uh, not distance or something like that, right? And then this will be the uh, zoom step. Oops. As I close the file, I did not mean to close. And this I usually set to 10. The reason I set it to 10 is it's a decent default. Um, from my experience, uh, you can uh, tweak this to figure out exactly what is the correct type of zoom for you and your game. These val variables may or may not work for you. Please feel free to change them. Um, all right. And so our next step here is we need to make sure that, oh, <laughs> I, I have leftover stuff here. <laughs> Anyways, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, and we're going to add our uh, camera. Uh, boom, right? Let's see where over here. Yeah. So camera, camera, boom, um, and then we want the. Give me one second here. I'm just going over my docs. <laughs> uh, attach. Oh, sorry. Bind. Uh, wait, no. Yeah, no. This isn't that one. Set up attachment. And this we want uh, get mesh, and then here we would put uh, camera camera socket, and then the next thing that we're going to do is we want to put the camera length uh, boom length in, so camera boom, and then we're going to do this, and then it will be uh, the target arm length, and that will equal to uh, the default arm length. Oops, uh, default. Oops, default arm length. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And this uh, this here is why we uh, ma named it default arm length. Right. And then if we come back here, there's one other thing that I forgot to do is we need to actually input the uh, void. Sorry, we need a void of um, camera zoom. And this will take a float of type value. We could call it direction as well. Um, it's really up to you. And uh, this can be const. There we go. And then we're just going to generate the definition. All right. And then inside of this here, we're going to give ourselves all of the variables that would like. Uh, set up the actual uh, function to perform the 
zooming, right? So here we're going to say if if value is equal to zero dot f, um, or not controller uh, controller return, and this is just a short circuit. So if the val if the controller is not set or the value is zero, we don't want to actually process any logic because it doesn't really matter at that point. All right, so then const float, we're going to create a temporary variable, new target arm length. So this is going to be our kind of temporary target arm length, um, where we want to stash it so we can more easily use it in the clamping function, which prevents it from going below our minimum and above our maximum. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the camera boom, and then we're going to do target arm length. So this just returns the current target arm length. We're going to add the value multiplied by zoom step. Now in this situation, right, this actually happens first because bed mass, but because it's implied, we don't actually need the rounded braces. So I usually forego them in this specific situation. And the only reason we have the multiplication here is because it tells us if it needs to be negative or positive. And this just applies that uh, without changing the value of step. Because uh, one times anything is itself. So negative one times something is going to be negative itself. All right, and then we're going to do camera boom. All right, we're going to grab that again, and it's going to be the target arm length, and then we're going to assign it. And this is going to be F math clamp, and this is what I was talking about where it uh, prevents it from going under or over. So we're going to pass in the value, the new value that we want it to be, and then we're going to provide a minimum and then an also a maximum. And the minimum will be minimum zoom length, and the max will be max zoom length. The, the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually set up the targeting so the input is actually bound to that in, uh, access that we actually set up earlier. So we can do that by coming up to here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do player input component. And this will just go next to all the other player input components. So you can just search for it. It's also the function is going to be set up, set up player input component. So bind access. And then this, this is important. Uh, to what you named the um, in, uh, input access itself. So in our case, we said uh, camera zoom. So we need to make sure that it's typed exactly the same. Casing does matter. Then this will be the object that you're binding it to. And then the function that uh, you're, you want called in this situation. And this is going to be ATPD character camera zoom which we just finished setting up below us here. Now we can hit play, uh, load up the editor, and make all the stuffs. OK. So now we're booted up. We can see that the camera is now pointed at the head. Um, we can see that if we come into our third person character here, and under camera, we see zoom, like we typed in. And then under here, we have the min, uh, the max, the default arm, and the zoom step. Now, the zoom step is going to be defaulted to 10. All right. But, and our default length will be 600, and zoom length, the max zoom length will be 1,000, the min will be 0. That can, the defaults can be changed in C++, but if we can also change these here if we really wanted to, and it would only affect this particular character. Or if we open up the blueprint itself, we can change them in here, right? And this would affect all of the blueprint, this would affect any blueprint created from this blueprint. So it's really up to you. Um, and you don't have to do them like this. I also went ahead and uh, updated the uh, height because by default, where I had it initially, it was uh, actually targeting the uh, center neck of the uh, 
the mesh. So I'll show you what I did there. Uh, sorry, my computer, uh, my recording computer crashed, and uh, I lost some lost some data there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a rec record here. Um, anyway, so by default it's like down here. So what we can do is we can just bring it up to about eye level right there, and that's going to feel better. We can just save all, and then when we hit play, it will be into the back of the head where we want it to be. Also, if we turn the head, right, it should turn, we could turn the socket with the head and stuff like that, but you can, you can access all of these settings and whatnot uh, on the fly here. And these will be accessible through blueprints themselves as well. So you could have these, these settings within your game and access them and set them through blueprints if you really wanted to. Anyways, so that's that's about all we need to do. And uh, we did it all in C++. It didn't take very long at all, and it was super easy. And uh, yeah, so like or like and subscribe or whatever it is, and um, leave comments if you have any uh, questions about uh, further things that you could uh, potentially do. Please try and keep it as a, a short, little, easy to do thing. Um, and uh, maybe I'll try and make videos of that in the future. All right, well, uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, have a good day.